Uh, hi everyone, my name is Sarah and I'm 14 years old and I've been coming to this church for pretty much as long as I can remember. But as I found out, that doesn't really matter. Growing up in a Christian family, it was normal for me to attend kids' church on Sundays and to hear all of those famous Bible stories. I grew up knowing of, but not personally knowing Jesus. When I was about five, I invited Jesus into my heart. This is a pretty cool moment for me in my life because I can still clearly remember my family praying with me the so-called sinner's prayer in my room late one night. As a five-year-old though, I don't think I actually knew what this meant because from what I can remember of being a young girl, I don't remember living my life for God at all. I was never really a bad kid. I got good grades and was always the good girl at school. I was told by my peers at school that I was perfect and I tried so hard to live up to that expectation only to find myself falling so far from it. Around my final years of primary school, something inside of me started to recognise who God truly was and how much he loved me. I was hungry for answers from God's word and learnt so much under Robin Garlick's leadership at Kids Church, for which I'll forever be grateful and thankful for being taught about God through Robin. Around year six, I started to live my life for Jesus, and as I grew, I learnt more about him. I was so amazed that Jesus would be willing to die for me, the one who is so far from perfect that it isn't funny. The reason as to why I'm getting baptised today is because I believe in God, the Lord of the universe who I speak to each day, who loves me and has a purpose for me. Today isn't the day that I'm entering God's family. Today is the day that I'm professing my faith to everyone here and to the world that publicly I love Jesus and that he is my Lord and Saviour. He took up that cross in my place and I can never repay that debt. I can only offer him all my heart and all my soul. This doesn't mean that life will ever get easier for me. In fact, it will actually get harder. Seeking God in this world and society as a teenage girl isn't exactly easy. Everywhere you look, people are trying to drag you away from what I've come to know as the truth. Bad things happen to everyone, but it's how you deal with them that shows where you put your faith, trust and allegiance. And for me, that's in God. The one who set the world spinning into perfect motion and ironically the only thing that stays put when, I'm, when my world seems to be spinning out of control. To leave you guys, I just want to read out one of my favourite Bible verses. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Bring everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Bring the people who are blind but still have eyes, the people who are deaf but still have ears. Isaiah 43, verse 6 to 8. I really love this verse because to me it talks all about the diversity that is in and also the love that comes in joining God's family. And as a daughter from the end of the earth, I can't wait to see where God leads me. Thank you.